Hi, this is a video entitled Making a Haunted House in Your Garage and it's our first attempt at sharing what we've loved to do in our place for about the last 25 years. This year we had about uh, 350 kids come through our garage and uh, we entitled our presentation this year The Asylum. We always put, uh, put it out and let people know that we're going to do it. How do you get prepared for a haunted house well one of the first things we do is uh, we go to stores the the Halloween store Halloween City um, several of the stores that are spirit Halloween is one of my favorites we go and we go to the store we see what they're uh, what they've created for the year sometimes the props that they have are cheaper to buy than they are to make uh, this is my son when we go we we try on masks, we just have a lot of fun. We get really good ideas and we see how they've programmed and uh, positioned some of their props and it gives us a lot of ideas. We also like to go to uh, different sites. One of my favorites is called hauntproject.com online and uh, it gives you great ideas and also tells you how to make things. There's a lot of other different sites. So we spend several months preparing for what we're going to do and uh, building uh, or planning for the usually five rooms that we have in our double garage. Uh, then we go up in the attic and we pull down all the supplies and things that we have used in the past and they help us kind of figure out uh, how they might be employed in the current year and sometimes we recycle uh, props and uh, events that we have used in the past. A good example is that gold bucket you see on the screen which we used last year and we're going to use this year in a different type of setup. You'll see it a little bit later in this uh, uh, presentation. Once we get ideas of what we want to build, then we start the construction. We are not carpenters, so we just take a notebook and just kind of draw our plans on and kind of go, uh, go that way. These are two of my grandsons, age 12 and 13, and they love to help, and we have these uh, ideas, and they do some of the cutting in the building and, and we kind of make this a family event. Uh, you can see they're working on an electric chair prop that you'll see in a, a little bit. And there they are again and some of the other props that we have and we just spread them out on the, the driveway and we use the garage and we hope for good weather in October so that we can do a lot of this work comfortably. It was unusually warm this October as you see and uh, we're beginning to kind of piece together the different rooms that we'll have. Here they are again working on a project, wearing safety glasses I might add, and uh, uh, we kind of go with ideas in mind and we alter and change those ideas as, uh, as we put things together. It's just kind of a, a fun way of doing it, but we have a, a topic. Like I said, the topic this year was asylum. Um, here they are playing around with a prop that we bought. We bought the man, but we built the chair and we built the stand next to him that holds a prop that we also bought, which is a, and you'll see it later, it's kind of a switch to turn on the chair. They're two separate props. A couple weeks before, we always put a sign out in front of our house and it says uh, what the times are going to be and it usually has the, the title. It really says the kids were doing it again. Uh, plan to come and boy they really do arrive. One of the things that we like to do as we prepare for our haunted house is um, after we get the room set up we like to lay everything out where it's going to be in the garage and kind of get a feel for the flow of people walking through the garage. We divide our garage up into rooms by uh, using hanging black cloth or black plastic, whatever we have available. I reuse the cloth every year. And we hang it from a wires. They're, they're clothesline wires. It's that wire that's covered with green vinyl that we hang from hooks. And we keep the hooks up all year. And we tighten the wires. And we hang the cloths. And we hang them with uh, clothespins. And uh, it allows us some flexibility and freedom. You can see how we're setting up a room right now in the entrance to the garage. That's one of our new props, the picture on the right. And um, we're beginning to hang the cloths and set things up. You can see a man hanging in the back by the door. You'll get an idea of all these, how they work in just a minute. To close our garage off, we built a uh, hanging partition from drop cloths 
that are stapled on the two by fours and we literally screw the two by fours into the header of the garage door on the inside and drop these um, drop claws down and there's two by four weights in the bottom and uh, we have the uh, cut sliced entrance way you'll see that a little later too we always build a little scene on the outside because there's usually quite a line of kids and it gives them something to look at and there's scary music and it's more visual than it is uh, uh, motion but it does uh, help contain them as they wait outside what we're going to do now is take a daytime tour of the haunted house so you can kind of get an idea what it's like i'm going to be using one of my grandsons to be the uh, guest star in all the tr attractions this is the first room that we go through we've got a hanging mummy a prop that we bought screaming and hanging there we I, I show them around the room, I show them Hannibal Lecter uh, greeting them at the door, and then we stop and we focus on this picture, and I have them look at the picture and see the changes, and while they're looking at the picture, it drops down, and there's a creature behind them that uh, gives them a little bit of a fright. You'll see how that works later. This is the second room that we walk into. I have I'll have two of my granddaughters back there and they'll be holding a little baby and while they're focused on the babies and the babysitting, the uh, spider jumps up and gets in their face and gives them a, quite a jolt. Uh, the, the next room that we have is uh, these these clips are actually from the tour itself. Um, I wasn't able to uh, produce the other daytime tour. This is a, a room that has a drop-down uh, prop and then after the drop-down prop we walk over to this uh, uh, bucket and uh, I have the, the kids in the room lift the bucket and when they lift the bucket uh, there is a, a human being underneath the table. It looks like just a mask is sitting there and they look at the mask and then the human being pushes the mask and a hand flies up. So the drop down and the mask are really good uh, uh, events in this one room. Then we move to the next room, go through the curtain, and in the next room is the uh, electric chair. I, I walk over to the electric chair box, have some dialogue, I pull the switch, and uh, when I pull the switch, there's a person behind the curtain who starts the, um, the guy shaking and, and making noise and banging his head and the strobe light that we have underneath his legs. And then someone, as you can see from the corner, jumps out. I actually have a guy who's about six foot eight who jumps out from the corner and scares the bejeebies out of the kids got a couple rules in the house no touching no grabbing of anybody um, we don't touch grab or push or shove or do anything we don't try to get too close to the kids we just give them a good this room scare. is the room of creatures I've got a hanging ghost that uh, I bought and assembled here and it would look better if I had a black light but I didn't get around to it and I walk the, the kids around the room and there's lots of figures hanging I call them hanging figures they're in the garage most of the year and uh, they give kids quite a fright but when they get all the way around the room to the back corner there is a coffee that we built last year. We had it uh, horizontal, but this year we have it vertical. And uh, when I get to the coffin, you'll see that in just a second. When I get to the coffin, I stop there and uh, there's a young lady that will be in there and she looks really good. I've got my grandson in here right now and we, we uh, uh, park on the coffin for a second and he pops out. The last room is kind of the, uh, the final room culmination of the entire event. We have all the characters uh, come in the last room. As you can see, when they walk into the last room, there's a, a man, and he's actually a six foot two guy standing at the table saw. And then there's this fireplace scene, which is kind of dark, and there's a, 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 a little fire going on in the bottom, a fake one, of course. And we have everybody walk around the room, and they see the creatures hanging. And when they get around to the back of the room, they notice a chair, and in the chair, there's a person sitting there. So they know that there's a person sitting behind them. They know there's a person standing at the at the table saw, and they're Ex expecting something to happen with the fireplace. I go back to the fireplace. I have their attention drawn to the man uh, there with the tongue sticking out. And um, I flash a flashlight on the, uh, the back of the fireplace. And at the same time I do that, a guy pops out and he's holding a knife, a big 
butcher knife, and um, it, it's quite a, a scary thing. You'll see it in the uh, actual presentation. And then the man at the chainsaw turns on the chainsaw and pretends to cut off his arm and flows, uh, throws his arm at them. Meanwhile, the guy in the back stands up, and they all start screaming, and then they walk out of the room, go through the hanging curtains, go to the entrance of the garage, and walk out where they first came in. Do you know Hannibal Lecter? Hannibal Lecter is from... Uh... What's he from? Silence of the Lambs. What do we have here? Oh, look. What a nice picture. I think if you look at it from different angles, it, it changes. <laughs> come, girls. Come. Hey, what do you have here? Oh, aren't those lovely babies? So just lovely children you have here. Mm, what's the name of Cranky? Oh, look at, look at these children. What's this? man who seems to have a saw stuck in his stomach. Ooh. Scared me? <laughs> I'm hoping. Mm, what is this? Mm, would you like to lift it up? Would you like to? Would you like to? Go ahead, lift it up. Go ahead. Are you sure? Lift it carefully. Up! Oh, very carefully. It's just a hand. Nothing to be afraid of. Just a hand. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, what do we have here? Oh! Oops, sorry. Oh, my goodness. And that. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Look around. Hammer person. Let me get in that corner. Look around. Better stand over there and look towards me. Look around. Oh, look. 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 What, what do you have? Oh. 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 And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this uh, first attempt at filming our How to Make a Haunted House. And you can see that everything's packed up and stored in the attic and ready to go for next year.